Welcome to our video series introducing Google Analytics. In this video, we'll show you how to add a domain to track your site's activity. So the first thing you need to do is start adding website profiles to your Analytics account. Of course, make sure you're in the Analytics area of your Google's AdWords account. And make sure you're in the Analytics Settings sub-area, shall we say. And then existing website profiles are displayed here. Or you can just add a website profile. Here you have the option of adding a profile for a domain. And actually, when it says new or existing domain, what it means is new or existing already in your analytics account, not whether it's a new domain or an existing website. Obviously, the website has to exist online or has to exist in the very near future, as you'll see. Actually, let me just go back a step and demonstrate this. Let me go back to Analytics Settings. And I currently have the domain here that's being tracked. Demosite1.info. So that's an existing site in the account. And I want to add a website profile. And so if I wanted to do more tracking, and perhaps with some different options, of demo site one dot info, I would add a profile for an existing domain, and then I would choose here for an existing domain. It lists the existing domains in your account. Okay, but generally, you'll be adding a profile for a new domain, and you can see that it's really straightforward. It's simply a matter of letting Google know the address of the site. Please provide the URL of the site you would like to track. And the options are HTTP or HTTPS. And of course, I would say that generally it would be HTTP. And the site that I'm using in this instance is www.demonstrationdomain.com. And the last option on this page is automatically apply your AdWords cost data. I would say that even if you aren't doing AdWords at this time, you might as well leave this ticked. And let's continue. And OK, we see this screen. Tracking status information. Profile name. Demonstrationdomain.com. Website URL. Tracking unknown. That's because you need to add the tracking code to every page on your site that you want to track. And of course, I haven't added the code yet, but conveniently, it's down here for me. It's very straightforward. They even give you some details here on how to do it. But all you need to do is click here, and it automatically selects all the code and copy it. And you need to add this, as I mentioned, to every page you want to track. OK, since this is code, you need to add it to your pages at the code or HTML level. So if you're used to creating web pages in Front Page or Dreamweaver where it's visual, you would need to go to the code editing screen of Front Page or Dreamweaver or whatever you may use. As an alternative, you can open your HTML pages in a text editor like Notepad, which is the default text editor of Windows, and there are plenty of other text editors available. And all you do is paste the code. And I suggest that you paste it right at the end, just before the closing body tag. Within the body tags is the main content of your page. So just before the closing body tag, at the bottom of the code is where I suggest you edit, paste, and that's it. And you do that on every page. Obviously, if you have a lot of pages, that can take a little while. It's beyond the scope of this video to talk you through potential shortcuts. But just for a couple of ideas, I often use TextPad, T-E-X-T-P-A-D, at TextPad.com. And it's a very, very powerful text editor. And you can do very powerful text searches and replaces. 
So what you can do in TextPad is open dozens or even hundreds of HTML documents and search for closing body tag and then replace it with this, your analytics code along with the closing body tag. If you do a replace, remember to keep your closing body tag there. But just replace this with this. So that may be something to consider. So you may want to take a look at TextPad and look at their search replace functionality. You'll also probably need to be aware of something called regular expression. You would need that selected if you do a search and replace in TextPad because it allows you to do a search and replace across multiple lines. But again, as I mentioned, it's beyond the scope here, so that's just something you may want to look into. You may wish to get set up for this in the future, or you may already be set up with server-side includes, SSIs, which make making changes to all your pages a whole lot easier. But again, that's far beyond the scope of this video because it's specific to certain web servers. But if you just do a search for server-side includes, I'm sure you'll find tutorials for how you can apply that. Okay, we've added the code to the pages, and then we just save the pages and re-upload them, overwriting the existing pages. Really, you overwrite the pages with identical pages. The only difference is that this has been added right at the end, just before the closing body tag. So, let me just do that now quickly for this demonstration domain. Okay, I've uploaded that page to the root of demonstrationdomain.com, and it's actually the only file that exists on this domain because it's just an empty demonstration domain. So here's the page, and if I were to do view source, I can double check that there's my tracking script. So now we go back to analytics and okay, there's the code I pasted and let's say finish. Okay, it's currently saying tracking has not been validated or added to one or more of your website profiles. It's not true that it hasn't been added, but it hasn't been validated yet. So I need to go do that. And if we scroll down and it can take a few minutes for the system to fully catch up with new sites but often it takes effect very quickly. So let's click Check Status, and OK, Tracking Code and Tracking Status Information, Profile Name, Website URL, and Analytics has been successfully installed and data is being gathered now. And that gathering can take a little while. Actually, regarding delays in reporting, this may change in the future, and in fact, may be different by the time you use Analytics, but it's worth noting that generally I find that when you're viewing your statistics and your reports to see what's happening with your site, the reports only go up to the end of yesterday. So you're always a day behind with your reports. It's not real-time reporting. It's just slightly behind. So the things that happen today, you won't know about until tomorrow. So that's something to be aware of. Google may or may not change that for the future, but that's how it currently is as this is being recorded. So now that that's done, I can go back to Analytics Settings, and OK, I'm still getting this message that tracking hasn't been validated or added, but it will probably disappear on its own shortly. Sometimes these Google messages do stick around for a bit longer than they should, even when they're not applicable anymore. So there we go. We now have two website profiles, demonstrationdomain.com, and you can see that we can view reports if we wish. We can make edits to the settings. We can delete if we wish, and there we go, tracking code installed waiting for data. And it can even answer your question about when you can expect data but it may take a few minutes or it may take a few hours. If you just leave it now and come back to it later, it should be up and running. So that's all it takes to add analytics to a new domain so you can start tracking everything that's happening on your website.